Welcome back to your final day of Ocean Connections. Now that you've been through this crash course, you might understand why we call it Ocean Connections. Every single one of us, all of our choices, our behaviors, and even the air we breathe goes back to the ocean in some kind of way. Not only do you know what fossil fuels are, but you know exactly how they're releasing emissions that are changing our climate. You know the process. You know that climate change doesn't just mean rising temperatures, it means extinction sea level rise, and wildfires. You can now tell people what the Anthropocene is, a concept that we didn't even learn until college before it was well understood. You understand that oceans and forests are diverse and can serve as carbon sinks to help regulate our climate. You learned how petroleum becomes plastic and what plastic is doing to our oceans and our food chain. You learned that recycling isn't the answer, but people speaking up so that policies and companies change actually is. You've heard some incredible stories about some incredible species that were brought back from the edge of extinction with the help of some dedicated people. We went over some conservation organizations and their projects, maybe you researched a few more. Hopefully you remember all the solutions at our fingertips, like renewable energy, changing how we eat and grow food, soil health, reducing our plastic, how to speak up, and so much more. This week, you learned some heavy things but you also learned exactly how to solve the climate crisis. You learned how to be a climate changer. The thing is, it's not all doom and gloom. Yes, we have a big problem on our hands, but we already have so many solutions. The climate crisis isn't someone else's problem to solve, and it's also not a problem for future generations. It's affecting us all, and it's affecting us now, and so we all must come together to do our part. In some ways, and hopefully like you saw this week, we already have. For your activities, you learn how creativity can help make a social media post that inspires people, or how to write a letter to a company or representative demanding that you want change. These tools are now and forever will be in your toolkit, and you may lean on them for the rest of your lives. When we look back on all the ways we've made the world a better place, it was made by small, consistent actions that add up into something bigger. We don't need a few of us doing things perfectly. We need millions of us doing things imperfectly. Yes, every vote, every tweet, every phone call makes a ripple. And when that action is multiplied by many, it makes a wave. As you reflect on your week and get ready to share with others, we're going to leave you with a quote by Margaret Mead. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. See, See you out there, climate, climate changers. changers.